just a quick video to show you um, how to create all the pages for your website. So here's my folder and uh, A-Level Physics is the website I'm creating. So I've been working on my index.html document to make it a template. So I've got all my links in there, my colors have been changed, my font is as exactly how I want it, and I've set up uh, the navigation links so I know what all my pages are going to be called. Um, I've also done a footer and I've got links to social media and contact details. So I've got a full template which is working. I'm now going to create the other pages based on that template. Really simple operation. Um, you'll see that I've got a style sheet. You only have one style sheet, so leave that. That style sheet will control the whole site. This is the one that we're going to change. So we're going to take a copy of index and we're going to paste it in and then we're going to just rename it. One thing that I'd recommend that you do is go to view and show the file name extensions so we don't have any dramas with getting the wrong file names and extensions in there. So as you can see, my second page is going to be called about us.html. So I've got that one now. And now I can go to copy that index again, paste it in, rename. And my second page is going to be called student profiles. And then finally, my last page, copy and paste, is going to be called Contact Us. So rename that. HTML. So just checking that I've named everything exactly like I'd written in my uh, in links for my, uh, for my um, navigation. I'm going to open up my index page now, which I'll just drag over here. And then hopefully, so you can see I'm on the index page there, and cl click on my navigation. It's moved to another page about us, to student profile, to contact us, back to home. So I've got working navigation, which is uh, transferring me from page to page to page. Um, and it's as simple as that. And then that style sheet will control the styles for all of your pages, so you need to be carefully naming your divs in a sensible way um, but you'll work that out so that's um, that's it nice and easy good luck creating your site